Hi guys, we've been looking at the sheet music to Roland Pete and um, if you come over here camera person we've got the sheet music here you can get actually this exact version by clicking our link above the sale is actually on at the moment and yesterday we're looking at cool ways of using boogie woogie sheet music because you know one way is just simply put all the music out and learn it as if it was a Beethoven sonata you know that's one way of certainly of doing it but a more creative way of using our wonderful boogie woogie sheet music the sale is on at the moment uh, is to take extracts from the sheet music and to play around with it rather than intimidating yourself and sitting down and putting the sheet music on the piano and saying I must learn it all which is how you kind of approach classical music you can take little bits and yesterday we looked at the left hand of uh, Roland Pete and today if you come over here camera person I'm going to look at the right hand of Shout for Joy that's the introduction of Shout sorry Roland Pete we're doing by Pete Johnson now the boogie woogie starts here I'm going to play it and see if you can follow camera person um, so here we go. just on an extract there because in fact all I want to do is just focus really on the first few bars we could go on and on and on I think you know there's enough here for about 20 lessons but if you just look at the first few bars here what you can do when you're learning the sheet music is simply just to take um, that riff there and simply learn it so for example I'll do it from here itself is a cool riff so I'll just do it one more time I put in a little bit of my own twiddle there but I'll see if I can play it exactly like the music is playing it now okay I varied it a little bit at the end but you get the idea and I'm gonna play it one more time and then I'm gonna tell you what you can do with it Okay, now what you can do is to take that riff and create your own little boogie. You might notice it even sounds a bit like Hammy's boogie. That's Hammy's boogie. And this little boogie here, it's the part of start of Roland Pete by Pete Johnson. So this is very much a Pete Johnson style boogie. is just take those three bars and create a little boogie woogie out of it so for example by the way you might want to do the right hand as I'm playing it so you can just see it Just those three bars, the, the first three bars to Roland Peachy music, that one, that one, that one, finishing it off there. And I've kind of just extracted the right hand and used it to create my own kind of boogie woogie. So that's what you can do. Because the sheet music is so rich in boogie woogie riffs, you can literally isolate three or four bars like we've done today, learn the riff and create your own boogie woogie. So that is another cool way of learning boogie woogie and learning how to use the sheet music. As always, Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and camera person, I feel a poem coming on. You're going to read this. I feel a muse coming on, You're yes. reading this, camera person. No, I know, but I, I, the, muse, the muse spoke to me, and I, I wrote it down, because I thought in the, in the excitement of listening to your playing, I we might forget it. We all know you just picked up a piece of paper, <coughs> Yeah, I know, but in the so excitement... So was going to notice. I did, actually, right, but I'm in gonna... the excitement of hearing you playing, I thought I may forget my wonderful poem, and the muse may run right, away. So, so camera person is actually reading mm -hmm. this from a sheet of paper. But camera person wrote it. Now listen, shh. Boogie sheet music sale is on. 
Music going for a song. Click the link before they're gone. Okay, very good. So the sheet music sale is still on, so you can download the sheet music instantly. And remember, it's not just getting the sheet music and learning it, it's how you use the sheet music. And what we're doing in these lessons is looking at creative ways to use the sheet music by extracting just two or three bars, learning the riff, kind of stealing the riff, and incorporating it into our own boogie woogie style. So here we've just looked at the first two or three bars of roll and peak when the boogie begins, and we can see that we can create a whole boogie woogie out of it just by using the first two or three bars as well as you know listening skills it's important to listen to the boogies as well press that subscribe button camera person yes <clears throat> join the tribe you must subscribe get with the vibe and uh, I will talk to you soon <laughs>